Mary Tony was a relatively able-bodied senior citizen from Pennsylvania. She had a bunch of friends at a local senior citizen center, but sadly she wasn't able to spend all her hours there. While she was home alone, however, she passed the time in the saddest way, and it made one of her companions cry to watch. Growing old isn't as much fun as you might imagine. Though you don't have to support your children or go to work, the so-called golden years aren't so happy for many older people. Indeed, it can be a lonely time, particularly if you have outlived your friends or if you don't have family members living nearby. This might be hard to imagine when you're young, but the later stages of life can in fact be extremely isolating for many. Back in 2015, Mary was 98 and living alone. Although she had nieces, she wasn't able to stay with them as they had families of their own to care for. Despite spending a lot of her time alone, Mary didn't feel particularly isolated, and she was grateful that she remained mobile. God is good to me, she said. I do whatever I can, she added. She wasn't entirely alone, however. Someone would come to pick her up from her house and take her to the Eastern Area Lifestyle Campus, a center for senior citizens to socialize. At the center, Mary would get the chance to enjoy some hot food, chat with some friends and play board games, among other activities. The staff even organized a senior prom for their guests. For a documentary, a camera crew followed Mary around the center to capture a snapshot of her life. She is seen taking part in a music workshop in which she sits at a drum and joins in with some dancing. The center is full of life and activity particularly so when seen in contrast with Mary's home environment. At the Eastern Area Lifestyle Campus, Mary had numerous friends. However, back home she had no one. I can't wait until morning comes, so I can go to it, Mary told the filmmakers. I like it down there. You meet friends. You talk to them. You do something to pass your time. Otherwise, like on Saturday and Sunday, there's nobody here. Indeed, at home, it was a different story. She had to find inventive ways to entertain herself, to stop herself from going nuts. And it was what she did at home that captured the interest of the production company. The premise of the film was to take the staff from the Eastern Area Lifestyle Campus to Mary's home, so they could see how the elderly people they cared for coped when they were on their own. However, it was difficult for some of them to see in fact, one of the staff members was brought to tears when she came to understand how Mary spent her time when she was alone. Indeed, the individual told the filmmakers that she'd never really thought about what the center's guests did once they got home. Perhaps the most heartbreaking thing to see was just how Mary passed the hours. To begin with, the elderly woman would take a pile of junk mail. She would then go and sit on the couch with a paper bag by her feet. Then she'd start her routine. First, Mary would tear each piece of paper into strips. After that, she'd carefully cut the pieces into even smaller bits before dropping the shreds into a bag on the floor. To onlookers, it might seem like an utterly pointless activity, but it kept Mary busy. I have to do something, she explained. Though it might have been difficult to see, Mary was grateful that the staff from the center came to her house. Thank you all for coming, she said as the camera captured the tender moment. It's made my day, I'll never forget it. The 10-minute film was titled Junk Mail, and once it was put online it soon went viral. And there's no doubt that its message was a powerful one. The film reminded viewers of the loneliness that elderly people often experience, and for many it struck a chord on a deep level. Loneliness among the elderly is a global issue but one that some countries are dealing with better than others. For example, the Dutch Ministry of Public Health recently announced a 26 million euros investment in a program designed to tackle loneliness among senior citizens. Meanwhile, the U.S. Administration on Aging released a study into the lives of older Americans. It found that a stunning 35% of women aged 65 or over lived alone. Indeed, there are millions of elderly people in America who feel desperately lonely. Thankfully, places like the Eastern Area Lifestyle Campus exist, and they provide senior citizens with some much-needed interaction. But not all older people are lucky enough to have access to such establishments. 
If there's one thing to be taken away from the thought-provoking film, Junk Mail, it's a stark reminder to drop in on the older people in your life whenever you can.